Well, Susan, I see behind us that you have some beautiful costumes that you've created yourself. But before we check those out, as, long, as well as some of uh, the creations that the girls are doing today, um, let's start with our first story. It's already March, but the snow and ice is still outside and still need to be melted. So with that said, I decided to check out the local speed skating club to see what they're up to before it's too late. Ready? A full-time mom by day and speed skating coach by night, Tanya Lauren never imagined her figure skating skills would get her on the speed skating tracks. Got involved in speed skating because um, my girlfriend started the club three years ago um, because Williams Lake, she, she wanted another uh, choice for a winter sport for her son because um, he tried hockey and didn't, uh, wasn't his thing and he didn't want to figure skate. So uh, she said, yeah, let's, I can do speed skating. Being a skater all her life, Tanya was able to utilize her figure skating skills to launch her into other ice-related sports. But even with so much experience, she was still pleasantly surprised when trying on speed skates for the first time. When I put the speed skates on, um, I have a massage therapy background and uh, I couldn't believe uh, they were just so different than any other skates that I'd been in. And I was able to be in a really balanced um, postural um, place for myself. So, and I was thinking about the kids and I went, this would be a really great sport um, to help develop good postural habits for kids that they can take right into their um, adult life. Although this unique sport is similar to other ice-related activities, there are many important benefits that other skates can't provide. Well, the blades are way longer and it it actually makes you, uh, forces you to do a proper stroke. Like you can, you can cheat in a hockey skate or in a figure skating because it's shorter and so you can modify it. But in a speed skate, you actually have to do a, a true um, proper stroke that, that they want you to do in hockey and they want you to do in, in figure skating, but you can cheat on all of those ones where you can't in speed skating. Not being able to cheat means hard training and lots of discipline. But despite all the difficulties, the new coach makes sure these athletes enjoy coming to practice every week. My brother was in it first and then I wanted to try it out and I liked it because I couldn't actually skate on hockey skates or anything and I could skate on the speed skates. It's fun that I go really, really fast. My favorite part would probably have to be the games and the races. I really like it. It's like really fun. I'm Tanya. She, she's like awesome. She's really fun loving and crazy <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> so it's always fun to have some, some practices with her. Tanya is thankful to have the support and dedication from fellow parents and the young athletes themselves. I actually didn't think I'd ever want to be a teacher, but I really like coaching. Um, it's lots of fun. The BC Speed Skate has put out a really great um, practice plan, and, and that's what I've just been following because I don't have any speed skating background. So um, we've got a couple people that are, have joined us that actually have some speed skating um, experience, so th that's really great that we can draw from. But otherwise, I'm just going with the practice. The Williams Lake Speed Skating Club hopes to become a big enough group so that one day Williams Lake could host a provincial competition. For Go Williams Lake, I'm Christina Jung.